All right, guys, Darren from FBA Elite, and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to make this video quickly this morning as uh, due to events later on today, I'm not gonna be able to make my usual video at the at the desk, but I've got three important lessons that I wanted to share with you guys. So we're gonna be looking at how Amazon FBA, uh, Black Friday and the World Cup all come together to form the basis of this video. So the first lesson for this week is understanding your audience. So it's about 11 o'clock at the moment on Friday morning and normally I publish my weekly video at around, let me just stop walking because the, the sun is so low. And that's too low. That's better, I can actually see the screen now. Um, I normally publish my video around 7 p.m. That's how I've published it for the last four years. That's where the audience expect it to be published. But there's an important game tonight, isn't there? There's England, USA at 7 p.m. There's a very important lesson about understanding your audience. If I publish this video at 7 p.m., we've got the best part of probably over 10 million people in the UK watching that game. Um, and I don't know my exact stats, I'll pop a, something up next to me now, but my audience is probably 80 to 90% male. Oh, if you can hear any noises, that's my dog next to me shaking. Um, my audience is about 80 to 90% male, and I think of that, the vast majority will be the ages between about 25 to 45, 50. So my core audience tonight at 7 p.m., if I release this video, is going to be watching the England game, most likely. Now, not everyone likes football, so that won't apply to everyone, but a large percentage will. So it's very important you know your audience, whether it's with Amazon FBA, YouTube, whatever business it is, you have to understand your audience. Now, I probably would have been better off releasing this video yesterday. That would have been the best thing to do. Or released it this morning when the Wales game was on, but no one else cares. <laughs> um, but that's, uh, that's, that's the first lesson from this video. Uh, the second one is Black Friday. So a lot of people have been asking me what, what deals and discounts do I run on my Amazon FBA products on Black Friday? Uh, the truth is I don't run any discounts. And, and the reason for that is I don't want to get caught up in a race to the bottom. When you invest in Amazon FBA, your cash flow that you invest in a product is normally tied up for probably two to three months minimum from the time you place your deposit for it being manufactured or shipped or flown to the UK and then sell it through. So why would I all of a sudden want to reduce my price by 20, 30% just to compete against all of these cheap Chinese sellers? and lose the vast majority of my profit margin, if not selling that break even or a loss, which a lot of sellers are probably doing. Now there is the argument that people want to do it to create their sales velocity so they can improve their organic ranks. If that's the case, then what I'd recommend is don't do it on Black Friday. Wait till maybe the middle of next week after Black Friday and Cyber Monday have taken place. Everyone goes back up to their original prices. Then you can come on, you can offer a smaller discount on your product so you haven't got to lose as much money. And you can run that discount for a more sustained period of time. So you can run it for a couple of weeks and that will give you much better um, sales velocity overall and consistent sales velocity, which will improve your ranks long term. A one day spike for Black Friday or for the Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend isn't enough to boost your organic ranks, but doing it for a couple of weeks when everyone else isn't, that will improve your product. So that's lesson number two. Um, and lesson number three isn't so much of a lesson, but just kind of sharing my experience. So this is to do with the World Cup again. On Monday, it was the England-Iran game. And I'm sure that many of you know it was on at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, so not everyone could watch it. And I couldn't actually find anyone to watch the game with me at 1 p.m. Now, part of that is due to the fact I decided to move halfway across the country. But the other thing is, everyone is at work. So I want you guys to think about that. Did your boss let you watch the game? Did you have to trade your lunch break to watch the game? Or even if you don't like football, it's not about whether you like football or not. It's about whether you had the choice to do what you wanted to do. And that's what Amazon FBA and other types of passive incomes can give you, is you can sit there on a Monday afternoon, you can decide, you know what, I want to watch the football today. It's not all about the money, it's about the freedom and time and choices that type of income gives you. So for example, it's Friday morning, I'm walking my dog, I'm recording this video, which is my work for today. I'll publish this, I'm probably going to publish this somewhere between 2 to 4 p.m., I haven't decided exactly when, and hopefully I'll be watching the England game tonight. So those are the three lessons for this week. Number one, know your audience. Number two, don't short sell yourself for Black Friday. If you're going to do it, do it after Black Friday or before Black Friday. It's a bit too late this year. And number three, if uh, if you have if you wouldn't have had the freedom to watch an England game this week, or whichever country you support, or if you don't like football, whatever sport you like, if you didn't have that freedom, maybe it's about time you started considering making changes, whether that's Hamilton FBA or something else. Um, and just a final question to address, someone asked me if there are any discount codes for my course this Friday. Uh, there aren't, I'm not running any Black Friday discount codes on my course. All right, sorry about that guys, I have to jump out of the way because there's a van coming. So no, in short, I'm not discounting the course this year. 
I had a number of sign-ups this year and it just wouldn't be fair on the people that have already purchased the course if I start offering discount codes just because it's Black Friday. Now I did do it last year because the course was very new but this year I'm not going to be doing that. Also, you know, inflation's running at 10% and I haven't increased the price so effectively it's already at 10% discount so if that's something of interest to you there'll be a link in the top comment. So hopefully you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you scroll down and hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to the channel and if you want to know how to start Amazon FBA, I'm going to pop up a video now showing you a full checklist of everything you need to do to start your Amazon FBA business and I'll see you guys over there.